Hi, you're watching Press Play, and today we're looking at the Prom Pre 2. Here's a run through of my experience with the device over the last week. Now the handset has a pebble-like shape similar to its predecessor, the Palm Pre, but it is noticeably faster with an upgraded 1 GHz processor. The display is no longer plastic, it's been upgraded to a capacitive glass touchscreen. The screen is a compact 3.1 inches, which may be ideal for some, but definitely too small for me. I have to squint my eyes to browse the web, and I find myself pinching to zoom to read anything properly. It has a slide out physical QWERTY keyboard and the area under the screen is touch sensitive with gesture control. There's a built in tutorial on gestures but it only teaches you two moves, to swipe back and to swipe up. But there is a gesture guide pamphlet included with the phone so get studying. The phone comes with the revamped HP WebOS 2.0, including Stacks, a new feature that groups all of your open apps and stacks them up on top of each other. You can manually organize a stack of contacts, browser pages, or anything else open and reorder them. There's also Launcher, a group of screens that display all your applications, which you can organize accordingly. You can rearrange the order of apps by holding an icon and then dragging it to another Launcher page. The camera has been up to 5 megapixels with LED flash from just 3 in the original Pre. Video recording lets you trim the clips directly without having to download and buy additional editing software. For instance, the iMovie for iPhone 4. You can film, edit and upload straight to Facebook and YouTube. But when I watch videos on the Palm Pre 2, the sound of each video is really low. Even if you turn up the volume keys located on the left hand of the phone to the maximum, videos and music are still low. Why? Because the speakers are on the back of the device. My criticism? You can only use the physical keyboard to type text. Context switching between the touchscreen, gesture area, and keyboard is awkward and frustrating. What's the point of having a touchscreen if you don't have the choice of either option? Especially since a new feature called Just Type searches against all emails, bookmarks, and history on the web when you type some text on top of the screen. You can even insert that text directly into an email, SMS, or status update on Facebook or Twitter. Palm has also had a tough time getting developers excited about their OS, and as a result, there are few apps in the app catalog. Not to mention free ones. There's an official Facebook and Foursquare app, and thankfully Angry Birds, but no official Twitter app yet. It has 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and up to 5 hours of talk time, and 350 of standby time. My review sample came with a touchstone charging dock sold separately. Now it's a circular charging induction pod that grips to a flat surface and only comes off with a bit of a push. To charge the Palm Pre 2, you need to align the center back of the phone with the magnet in the center of the pod. It may require a little maneuver to get it just right, but make sure you hear the little beeping sound that confirms it's aligned. Otherwise, you'll do what I did and end up with a dead battery in the morning. The verdict. The software is fine, but the hardware is outdated and not worth the £399 SIM-free price tag. Also, it's failed to get picked up by any of the five UK carriers, so you gotta ask yourself, how come? Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and see you next time.